guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing a first impression demo review and swatches of the new lip product launch from NYX. This is the new Lip Lingerie XXL Formulation Liquid Lipstick from NYX. So I picked up five different shades and we are going to swatch them, try them out, compare the formulation to their other lip launches, and I'll let you guys know whether I think they are worth it or not. So if that is of interest to you, then just keep on watching. You guys know the drill with my first impression testing videos. I like to pull up the product and go over the product claim information, etc. So we know what to base our opinions on. So this is the newest lip formulation launch from NYX, their Lip Lingerie XXL Matte Liquid Lipstick. They did previously have a lip lingerie formula that was a liquid lip formula that I'm not the biggest fan of. I just find it a little bit dry. I've been loving their newer lip product launches and newer launches in general. They've been launching some good stuff. I love the brow pen, the brow glue. I love their Shine Loud liquid lipstick. So they've been launching some good stuff. So I figured I would give these a try. Um, they retail for $12 Canadian a piece and on the NYX.ca website they are currently sold out of about half of the shades. So in terms of product info there is a relatively long description. So it says this is the new extra long lasting liquid lipstick with 16 hour wear. So we will be doing a wear test. This sensational vegan lippy delivers full bodied smooth matte color molding onto your lips and accentuating the natural lip shape creating the appearance of fuller looking lips. This type of lingerie stretches and moves with you no matter what your lips do. No crack, no bleed, no fade, and no transfer for up to 16 hours. And is available in 24 color saturated hues. There's definitely not 24 available on the NYX.ca website. There's 12 here. So I don't know if where the other 12 would be available if it's not available on NYX itself. I assume the American site, so I will check there as well, as well as like Ulta, Shoppers. I'll do some research, but it says it comes in 24 shades. There's 12 on the .ca website as I'm filming this. Vegan formula, free of animal-derived ingredients. This product is also vegan. It says that it's vegan like three times within the same sentence, which is a good thing, but I personally ordered mine from the NYX.ca website, so I'll link a bunch of links down below, as I said, um, but I have had no problem with NYX shipping, ships really fast. I ordered these like two days ago maybe, um, and they got to me within like 48, 72 hours. I would say shipping right now is free. There was also a code that I used, so really good deals that you can get. Um, so yeah, let's get into testing these out. I'm going to do arm swatches first, and then we will do full lip swatches as well. If you haven't seen and are curious, I have a full lip swatch video on the Shine Loud Lacquer Lip Gloss liquid lipsticks as well. Um, that video did really well. It's actually my top performing video, so hopefully you guys like this one as well. But if you haven't seen that one, I will link it in the i card here, maybe here, I think it's this way, and I will link it in the description as well. As I said, I picked up five of these shades. I picked up the five shades that were most appealing to me. Um, the other shades that they have available, at least on the NYX site, are a little bit darker, so I didn't pick up the dark brown, I didn't pick up the dark red, the dark purple, stuff like that. I just don't really wear dark lips. So I picked up the ones that I thought would be most wearable in my eyes, the shades that I thought I would get the most use out of. So there's darker shades on the Canadian site that I didn't pick up and then there's further shades potentially on the US site as well. The first shade that I have here is called Extended and it is like a plum, kind of a bright plum color, which I like. It's more of like a fuchsia plum rather than your traditional traditional dark plum. As I said, I'm not really a dark lips person, so I thought this shade would be really, really fun. Wow, they are incredibly, incredibly pigmented. The applicator is really nice, kind of similar to the applicator on the Shine Loud formula. A um, little bit of a slanted tip, and then it has a little divot in the middle so that the product doesn't all sit together on the top. So I really like the look of that applicator. It's also pointed at the tip so you can get a really precise line and an easy overline if that's what you want. I just did one 
quick pass over there. It's very, very pigmented, very opaque. Um, looks a little bit darker than I had anticipated. Pretty true to the packaging though. I just thought it was gonna be a bit lighter. So that is the first and darkest shade that I picked up called Extended. I'm gonna swatch all of them on the hand so that you can see them side by side and then we'll do the lip swatches. The next darkest that I picked up is called Unlaced. This is the difference between the two in the packaging. So they look quite similar. This is just a little bit lighter and a little more pink looking rather than plum. That there is how Unlaced looks. Pretty true to the packaging again, which I like. Makes it easier to shop, especially in the drugstore as a consumer when the outer packaging matches the way the actual product looks on the skin or on the lips. Um, I would say they both lean quite cool toned, quite purple. Very, very pretty. Next up, we have the last pink, and then I have like two more nude shades. I think this one's going to be my favorite. This is called Pushed Up. I love just like a mid-tone, cooler leaning pink. That's my favorite kind of color to wear. They smell kind of like the um, soft matte lip creams, like kind of that fake vanilla smell. Okay, so this is how Pushed Up looks. Again, very similar. It just kind of gets a little bit lighter as you go along there. Um, yeah, looks quite similar to the last one. I'm gonna get these names all mixed up. Looking quite similar to Unlaced. So we have Extended unlaced and then pushed up. So far I like the look of pushed up first. I think I'll end with that one because I think that's the color I'll like the most. Next up is the shade Expose Me which is more of like a corally pink and that there is how Expose Me looks. Definitely leans a bit more warm nude than the packaging I would say. This one probably has the biggest difference from the packaging. I think the packaging leans a little more pink coral, whereas the swatch looks a little bit more nude. And then the last one that we have is called Stripped Down, which is the most nude I think that's offered, at least from what I saw. There we have Stripped Down, so it's, act so it's actually quite a bit darker than the last one, which is pretty interesting. Am I crazy? Oh yeah, it is kind of darker. Okay, I'm just crazy. So this is the more corally shade called Expose Me, and this is the slightly darker one called Stripped Down. So we have strip down and expose me. I don't know how I'm gonna like strip down. That's a lot darker than I would normally go for a nude. Those are all of the swatches there. Again, I would say there isn't much of a difference between unlaced and pushed up. I'm gonna leave these on my hand just so once they're dried, I can see if there is transfer proof. So I'm gonna leave those and we're gonna go in with the first shade. I'm gonna start off with the darkest plum called Extended. And because I know that they're super pigmented just from swatching, I'm going to get all of the excess off of the product and work in like really thin layers. I'm not gonna fuss about getting the lines too perfect and getting it super opaque because I want it to be relatively easy to take off. So this is as far as I'm gonna build up this shade and this is how extended looks on the lips. I really messed up lining my lips on this one, but that's fine. I just wanna take it off right away. Anyway, this isn't a shade that I would typically wear. I probably will go ahead and pass this one along as well as like the darker nude. I just like more pink basic nude shades on me, but this is really pretty depending what you like. So again, that is extended. The next one I'm going to test out is Stripped Down, which is the darker nude. I just wanna do the two dark shades. Get them out of the way. As I said, these are the shades that I don't really see myself wearing beyond this video, I'll probably give them to friends. I will say that I'm surprised that NYX launched another liquid lip launch so close to the Shine Loud release, especially because I feel like liquid lips are kind of on their way out. I'm still here for it, especially because I work at Sephora and I need something that's gonna last all day. But typically day to day, I'm more of like a gloss or a liner with a gloss kind of girl. Um, so I think it's interesting that they launched a whole new range of liquid lips, but at the same time, I do still like and wear liquid lips, so I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Here's how the shade Stripped Down looks. I actually like that a lot more than I thought that it was going to, um, that I thought that I was going to. It leans a little more like terracotta than a true brown nude, so I do actually like that more than I thought that I would. Next up, I'm going to go in with the shade Unlaced, and looking at the swatch on my hand, this is the shade Unlaced. It looks quite similar to Stila's Patina, actually. Kind of like that warm tone, or not warm tone, that mid-tone, like coolish purple nude. I really, really like the smell of these. They smell really good. And I like this applicator as well. It's very easy to work with. 
This is how the shade Unlaced looks on the lips. I actually like this shade a lot, a lot more than I thought that I was going to. Um, I think it's really, really pretty. I was able to overline really nicely, so I really, really like this one. Definitely my favorite that we've tried so far. Next up, I'm going to do this lighter nude that's like kind of a coral. This guy here, the light nude, this is called Expose Me. And then I'm going to save the lightest pink that I anticipate will be my favorite for last. This one's really cute though, matches my nails. This is how the shade Expose Me it looks. Pretty true to the packaging, to be honest, which I like. It's a pretty shade, just a little bit more warm toned than what I would normally like. Um, but really pretty, very comfortable on the lips, super easy to get that overline as well, if that's the kind of look that you enjoy. We are finally on to the last shade, which is called Pushed Up. This is the one that I think I'm going to like the most, hopefully. Um, so let's try it out, like a really pretty mid-toned pink. Last up here, we have the shade Pushed Up, which is definitely my favorite of the group. Definitely the shade that I would reach for the most, most within my comfort zone and what I like in a lip color. And again, this is in Pushed Up. Really, really pretty mid-tone pink. I think these are super pretty. I mean, in terms of liquid lipsticks, as long as it's not drying and crumbly on the lips and they have a good color range for a good price, it's usually going to be something that I give a approval to, a thumbs up. Obviously, I have my favorites in terms of formulation and shades, um, but I think these are really good so far. I like the colors. I like the way they feel. I like the way they smell. I think they were really easy to apply on the lips, easy to get that overline, which is what I like. I think they're really good so far. I'm going to keep wearing them for a few hours. I'm obviously not going to wear them for like 16, 24 hours. Currently six o'clock so it's quite a bit later in the day that I'm filming so I'll wear this through dinner. I'll wear it till I go to sleep probably like six-ish hours and I'll let you guys know how this shade holds up at least. Um, the hand swatches have fully dried down at this point and if I go like this they don't really do anything. I thought they were going to smear, to be honest, because they do have like a feeling of tackiness still. Um, and I get a tiny bit of rubbing off on my finger, but not much considering they have pretty much dried down. So that's pretty impressive. They seem pretty transfer proof, like nothing's coming off here. I do a kiss test, nothing comes off. So they seem pretty good so far. As of now, I'm going to give these a thumbs up, especially for the shades. I think they did a really good job in terms of like pinky nude shades and they're comfortable on the lips. It's a good affordable price. So I'm going to go ahead and continue wearing this for a few hours, eat dinner, live my life, see how it wears. But as of now, I'm into these and I like them. It's been like six hours since I last updated you guys. It is now very, very late and the rest of my makeup isn't looking so good. Um, but the lip has held up pretty well. So I'm going to end the wear test here. Not a ton to say. Um, I think that the lip wore really well. I ate dinner. I had a nap actually, hung out for a few hours, did some editing, whatever, whatever. And I think the lip looks pretty good. I will say though, it feels like a liquid lip on the lips. Like I can feel it on the lips. Overall, I don't think that this is anything like super revolutionary to the beauty market as of right now. I would love to see NYX launch into some lip stains. I would be very, very excited to see that. I really like the color range of these. I think they wear well. I will definitely keep using them. I will continue using them in all of my looks and day to day and update if I feel that anything else needs to be updated, but that is everything that I have for you guys today. I hope that this was helpful. Hopefully, if you have any questions, I address those. If not, comment down below. I will be sure to answer those questions for you guys. With that, that is everything that I have for you guys today. Thank you guys so, so much for watching, and as always, I hope you guys either have or had an absolutely awesome day. Bye.